Welcome back everyone, Deadly K here. Another video of Seven Nights. Today's video, we're going to be doing the Advent Ace Dungeon and teaching you guys on how to do that, complete it, and get a chance of getting your first star ace. And of course, if you're like me, all you're going to get is just a simple little five star item for like the last five days in a row. So before we start, we have easy mode, five six star item, and four star A chance. All you gotta do is just defeat it. This costs five keys. Normal mode, five to six star item, another chance of four star ace. Hard mode, six star item, also a six star ace item, extremely rare, and then a four star ace. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I know, the modes do not matter as your chance of getting an ace. It's the exact same whether it be uh, easy, normal, or hard. The only difference is the type of item you select, or that you get. So, easy, normal, and hard both have the same amount of chance of getting an ace. But the chance of ace is maybe, I'd say, honestly, not 1% chance. <clears throat> which honestly is not low at all, but still pretty low. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this, what team you need start off with, you definitely need Shane, or you could even use um, a strong backliner. When I first did this, I used Jave, and I still won, just because of how high uh, of attack Jave has. I still won just because he has a 5 AoE, and it still did about, maybe, I think it was 8,000 damage per hit he did, so it was pretty good. You could use Lena for the attack buff, Eileen for the attack buff, for physical being Shane, Ace, just cause. And I believe that his passive actually does affect the dragons. And I'll show you guys as to why when we start the battle, I'll explain as to why. You definitely need Spike or Bella, or you're just not going to be able to do anything during this adventure. Uh, this dungeon, you're not going to be able to do anything. Reason being, Spike has a two turn uh, debuff immunity. Two, four through six star does this. I have a four star, so I use him. You can either use, if you don't have him, you can use Bella. She has a four turn immunity to paralysis. At two, two turns, so you need either a four or five star. So you can use Bella or Spike. So without further ado, we will now start. You know, just. I'll just do this in normal, normal mode is pretty much what everybody does do, so let's get to it. So again, Shane to deal damage, Lena for the attack buff and healing just in case, Ace, just cause. You could switch Ace with uh, Rudy, but it's up to you. Then I lean for attack buff, physical, spike for immunity, so let's start. First move. Buff. And now, let me explain this real quick. Since the recent update, the last update being, I believe it was 6.15, the developers added a new lethal feature, which has lethal t targeting targets who have lowest AP first. So, I believe it's lower. So the chance of Shane attacking the middle head is much more higher than what would be the two heads that deal no damage. I mean, take no damage, just because they have practically no AP or all. So, let's use that move, just kind of busy talking. So, like I said, these two heads don't take any damage, which I think is extremely stupid. Oh wow, I'm not in pantagen. So, team's a little bit low on HP, so let's go heal. We need to use Shane's attack again, because lethal will most likely hit the middle now. Just like Castle Rush, it will hit the middle most commonly. Let's use it 5 AoE for damage. And you want, and definitely want to pick up your Shane with lethal, definitely for sure. Now I do think that the uh, the middle head does actually take buffs, but not like debuff or any of that. 
because he seemed to be affected by Ace's, uh, what is it, what's it called, recovery, decreasing in recovery rate, I believe, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, as you can see, any level of uh, Shane will do. It's mostly recommended, obviously, for level 40, but I would say level 34 and up, you definitely do this on normal mode. Easy mode, level 30 would be able to do the will. As you can tell, my ace, or not ace, my spike skill is going away just because it's been two turns. I was kind of screwing around. So you kind of want to be sure to be doing this as fast as you can. Because when he uses his move, he stuns you. He, he just stuns everybody. But I'm not worried at all because I know I'll get this easily. And that is game. So yes, this is extremely easy. Yes, my team's strong, but this is honestly super easy to do. Anybody can do it. You have as many tries as possible as long as you have keys to do this. So if you fail... Oh wow, I actually got a 6-star item for once because... I mean, it sucks, but... The last five years I've been doing this, I get a five star, but I'm not happy because it's not ace, so. Yeah, you know, a little. I don't know how to say, but yeah, I'm being a little selfish, but I need an ace. I've been farming for an ace for God knows how long, still nothing, but I need ace. But you have as many tries as you want, as long as you have the keys and ready this. I can't do it anymore because I already completed it, so I have to wait until tomorrow. This is only lasting for another. Nine days, so you guys need to be sure to be doing this. I don't know if it's gonna stay here forever. I honestly don't think it is, which really sucks. So people get ace, well you're lucky, and I hate you because I need him. And I didn't get him. Because I know for a fact I'm not gonna get him these nine days. Cause I, I've, I've literally the worst luck when it comes to this game. So that was that. Um, this battle is honestly super easy to compete. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. But you need to be sure to have at least either Spike or Bella, or you will not be able to do this. If you do, I'll be surprised because his paralysis is just 100% all the time, just beaming's bullshit paralysis. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Links of Shao livestream will be in the description. I still need to get uh, word on that. Uh, I'm still looking into it. It's going to be delayed. I will eventually delete the video of the 100 subscriber live stream. It's, we're way past 100 already. At the time of recording this, we're at 237 right now. And it's just, we're blowing away 100 already. So thank you for, for that. Links to the Facebook and Twitter will be in the description. Go ahead and give that Facebook page a, Facebook page a like. Daily posts about the videos that I have up and information on the updates are always there. So give that a like and stay up to date. As long as Twitter, not so active yet, but it will be. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.